Welcome to another episode of G&G. And today we are at another undisclosed abandoned location. This time, a mansion. This may be one of our last expeditions of the winter because it's fucking cold. <laughs> I'm warming up, but this when we ridiculous. started, it was freezing. You know, where we are, it's probably like eight degrees warmer, which makes a difference. Trust me. Right. Out there, <laughs> where we are right now, there's no wind. Wind chill is real, folks. Yes. We are going to hit this place yes. as, as much as we can in the next three hours, basically. I think that's yeah. plenty of time for us to basically get through almost every building. Mm -hmm. We already went through one. We did a walk around tour. So we know the terrain. This is the main place, the main mansion. There's what well, we think maybe a barn over here kind of a barn maybe maybe like a storage place but. yeah and if you you probably can't tell yet but there's snow on the ground here in connecticut where we're from it rained it, it rained. rained last night it snowed up here so now this may not be as exciting as our other adventures and i do apologize only because this is just an urban expedition uh we're going to go into an abandoned building there are rumors that it is haunted we are going to try a few things Hopefully, maybe we'll get something, but that's not our main focus this time. Absolutely. We're going to embark on this little expedition on here momentarily. We're excited about it. Yes. Thrilled to have you guys with us as usual. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you smash the like button. We need your help to get that algorithm going so we can continue these videos. And Motivate get better us. equipment. We need, still need better equipment. And we need those subscriptions. And we have a couple people in mind that are requ requesting to come with us on some of these explorations. Yes. So we will have some special guests as well, which we are thrilled to have. Yes. And uh, you're going to have to basically follow. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit us on Facebook if you haven't already. Join our group. Do it all. We need your support. Do we it need for your the love. Glitter bay. <laughs> Do it for this guy right here. He's desperate for different work. All right, all right guys, guys, let's get, get it done. done. So, guys, we are at Higgins Mansion, and the main mansion is down this way. Uh, we're just doing a walk around right now, and uh, it's a lot colder here than in Connecticut. This place is in mass, um, and it snowed here last night recently. So we're, again, ill-prepared, a little cold, and we know it's going to be colder once we get inside, but first we just want to explore the grounds. Once we've done that, we're going to hit up the mansion, and if we have time, maybe the smaller places. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Oh, we heard this place was haunted. We're going to find out. Let's go find out. Let's do it. Oh, damn, what was this place? You know what, you should have taken the road, bro. Next time, don't listen to me. Wow, guys. So, I don't know if this was a guest home. But there's other people's houses right here. So we don't want to make too much noise and draw attention to ourselves. Dude, this is odd. Look at this. Look at how all these branches are, are broken. broken. Down like that? Yeah, They're broken in one direction. Like something went through here. Big. Wow. Yeah, even up here, look at this. This is crazy. Whoa, this is why you need the hat, guys. So this looks like a generator or an exhaust fan or something. So this was like... Oh, it's this, a grinding wheel. Is there a grinding wheel? That's not a grinding wheel. That's a fan for a generator or something. It could be a... Yeah, that's a, that's a fan for something. So I don't think somebody lived in this. This might be like a stable or something like that. Yeah, look at this. There's barbed wire. Not barbed wire, a chicken wire. So this is like a chicken coop or something. You know, pipes have fallen through. So I guess this is maybe where it kept livestock. Mm -hmm. Maybe this was the barn. It's seen better days, guys. Oh yeah, car batteries as Glenn said. And uh, that roof just gets lower and lower. It's not an optical illusion. 
Glenn, you're so tall. My I God, your your head's about to hit the ceiling. <laughs> and me, let's see at what point Glenn's head hits the ceiling versus mine. Hold on, Glenn's. Tell me when I'm about to hit it, because I don't really want to hit it. Oh yeah, I'm not actually ducking down a little bit. Yeah. So I'm right here. Yeah, Go in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm standing in a hole. <laughs> we don't have my light on. I'm saving the batteries. Yeah. I'm getting plenty of. Uh... Wow, look at this door, man. Hmm. Oh wow. It's, it's still... rusted, but it still technically works. Hmm. Yeah, that's an old door. Well, and this is overgrown. What the hell is this? It's got, it's got um, a radiator wrapping around whatever this is. That's weird because it's outdoors. But that's a radiator. Yeah. Huh. I bet this was all enclosed at one time. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, you can see. The roof. Oh, yeah. You can see where the roof was. You can even kind of see the Maybe boards that's where they... on, the, uh, on the cinder blocks. You can see boards. So this is just the beginning, guys. We think that this is probably barn. They definitely kept some type of livestock here. Oh, here's a, yeah, here's something for a horse. Like, 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 for what? They used to use this for, um, oh, shit. Here's, a, well, here's one right here, the pulley. Yeah. Yeah, they used, yeah. Uh, I can't seem to focus on. <laughs> Astro. Astro glide? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of building are we walking into? There's some copper. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh man. Oh, fuck. Ooh, what's that? Yo, what is this? I found a knife. Like one of those um multicolored ones. What the fuck? Oh shit, it's a fucking talon. Look, that's pretty sick. Damn, holy shit. Ooh, it's spring assisted too, holy shit. Dude, this thing's no joke. You know, when you see, oh, the bunny just went by. All right guys, we are officially inside. This is the main mansion here. Um, with a bunny next to it. Yeah. <clears throat> Already, I can tell you, this is gonna be a fun one. And it's tagged a lot, so people have been here, obviously. But you can still see the architectural work on here, like the doorway arts and stuff like that. The molding. So, I won't bore you with me. Let's get the it. Arch this doorway is actually great. Oh, dude. All right, so we're starting in the right wing. Got all the wiring still here. I don't have a musty smell either, it's actually. Is that a bird's nest? No. Oh. Dude, so Higgins was here. Um, that kind of gives things away a little bit, guys. We were not going to disclose, and I still might cut this out, but this place is called Higgins Mansion, and it does have a different name to it, actually. Higgins is just the name of the person who lived here. It was Alice and her husband, Higgins, whose first name I can't remember. But, huh? Did you go down? Let's go down the, we'll do the first floor first. So we're gonna continue down this way. But wow. So you got nice tall, you got panel walls. Look at this. Built in bookcases. I, you can, mansions have this stuff all the time. Like the paneling, mm -hmm. it's, it's separate. I mean, this is, now that's interesting. Why is that jaggered like that? I've never seen this. For the studs? Yeah, the braces? What is this? This is a dumb way. Oh, no, it's not. It's just like a, maybe for a statue or something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, you know, all rich people have statues. <laughs> Big 
room right here. So this is probably like a little sunroom? I don't know, but this is nice. Yeah, it's a nice big room. Oh man, it looks like they basically decided when it, maybe at some point they were cleaning this up and they decided to shove everything in this room. Oh my. Yeah, a lot of concrete. Wow. Dude, this old leather chair, man. I You don't even need to reupholster this. You could just basically clean this up and it would still be good. It's just dirty. A nice, perfect door there. French doors. Could you imagine just coming out here, you got this big sun, <coughs> sunroom, have your morning coffee or something like oh, that, you know? God. That would be amazing. Oh, wow, they just did dump everything yeah, on here, they didn't did. they? Wow. You can get lost in these walls, man. You talk about secret passages, and you can just open up a wall, and it is a secret passage. Guys, if you've gotten this far already, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We need the love. We want to go to warmer places to investigate for you guys. All right, that's the basement. So we want to investigate that because supposedly it is haunted. Uh, we're going to put that to the test later and we know a lot of you guys like the paranormal, so we're going to try to prioritize that for you. But we obviously want to explore the whole area, the whole layout first. It's also good to know because if you need to get out. <clears throat> I don't think this is any bedroom or anything. I don't know. Maybe it was a, maybe this was a toilet. No, this was a little walk-in bath. Oh, is it? Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, the kitchen. I think we're near the front entryway. And I think this was actually... I think this was sliding doors. Oh, yeah. It's a false wall. So this... I, I doubt it's going to pull. Yep. And then that pulls right out. Yep. I had okay, one of these. The frames gonna fall out, but you guys get the idea. Yeah, they call that a false wall. The house I grew up in Rhode Island actually had one as well to separate the living room and dining room. Wine cooler? Yeah. That's pretty cool that it still works too. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I wouldn't pull that anymore though because they're probably gonna fall. And this is a beautiful kitchen, guys. This. I don't know where this came from. This doesn't belong here. I think that got ripped out of a wall somewhere else and it just got discarded here. Yeah, this looks like a, a bookshelf or something. It's not like in it. I heard, I thought I heard talking. It could have been the wind. It sure. got a little windy, but Glenn, Glenn, I heard something. I didn't. I don't know if I heard something or not. But again, we're not sure if there could be people, or again, this place has been able to be haunted. And actually, I heard voices, and I didn't see the stairs staircase here, and they did sound like they were coming from upstairs. Well, we're gonna keep on. You want to go up the stairs now, or do you want to? Continue the first floor. I think we could see, I continue. Think this is it. That's the uh, waiter's pantry. Right, let's go around here. That's the waiter's pantry. Make sure it's not. Oh, there's a basement there too. Another These are basement. separate. Yeah. So my guess is this is sectioned off, like you said, maybe one side is for the help. This looks like a. Wow. 
That's, that's spooky as hell. I almost wonder who should leave a REM pod, a REM pod at the doorway. It's not a bad idea. This is that the, is that the only entrance into here though? It seems like that's why I'm that's why I'm coming around first. Alright. What I'm gonna do guys is just in case we do have people around us. Oh Garrett found a garage. That's gotta be more than 220. Something like this place. Holy shit. I have never seen this before. It will. This place probably requires a lot of power. Oh not for that being said, but you know how we talk about Christmas items all the time? We're still, I mean, we just had Christmas, but every time. Su surprisingly, only a two car garage. Yeah. That yeah, kind of. Exactly. That kind of surprises me a little bit. Now, obviously that leads outside. This, is prob this goes above the garage. Yeah, that's not gonna go there. I don't know if... People oh, did this vandalism, or if tell me this isn't a painting. No. Okay, that looks like a frame from the front. Yeah. Hmm. I think we're okay. I don't think we need a frame. No. Know. All right. All right. So we're gonna go up these stairs right here, and we'll try something. Actually, maybe the spirit box up here. Do you want to go up this side, or do you want to go on main sta circular stairs? Well, this is where I heard the voices, dude. So you want to check that first? Yeah. Glenn says he heard. Oh my god. Look at this bathroom, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. Unfortunately, somebody broke a hole in the wall. You know? Oh, there's, this is the attic, bro. As dirty as this carpet is, it's actually in really good shape. It, uh, look at the way it actually is. It's tailored to like this and then cuts to a 90 degree angle and turns into a runner over here. But this does have an attic entry. Wow. And it feels like it's open. Oh my God, look at this. I can't believe people destroyed this. Oh, that's what I'm saying, I don't know. This could be natural decay. Could be strippers or uh, scrappers. No, it could be strippers that are scrappers. <laughs> I don't even think we can get to that bathroom. How the hell do you... Yeah, definitely people are coming in this oh, way. Oh, that's not a hole in the wall. That's a door. How the fuck? Oh, uh, the house, this house actually reminds me a lot this of is the house a, I grew up in. Look at this, guy. So you have a stairwell gap. Yeah. And we thought this was a, a hole in the wall, but this is actually a yeah. door. The house I lived in in Westerly, it literally had a stairway kind of like this, but high ceiling in the stairway. Well, so how the... But there was doors on either side. In the stairway, like 15 feet up. It was crazy. Right, it does go around the side here, the same wallpaper. So I'm mm. going to assume that this actually goes in from the side and drops down a level. Mm. Let's close that. All right. As well as we can. Mm. And we have the attic up here, guys, mm. with pulleys. We're going to get really low and get by this. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, guys. Why do people have to vandalize? Look at how beautiful this was. People like us could only, we can really only dream about having something like this, and people have to ruin it. And look at this. Let me turn off my light, guys. But yeah. 
don't don't do this stuff because if you come to these places please be responsible about it safety and respect oh look at how beautiful this bathroom was yes you got yeah. a, a double shower. sink vanity Hot tub. You got um, a, a nice a, sitting area. Yeah, that's like the, for the makeup. I can't remember yeah. what it's called. Is it a vanity? Yeah, the yeah. area, but it's even that nice sitting area. And every little bit of space was utilized. You, you got sliding drawers, mm -hmm. and then you had a drop down, so you had like a sunken, almost a sunken tub. And you see the quality of this stuff. This, that, well, that's veneer, but this is all solid wood. If you come around here, you get the toilet in a separate stall, but then you had this door. Yeah, they had this door that was sealed up. So the, the exterior door and the stairwell was still there, but they walled over it so it was enclosed. So that's your toilet. And uh, this, you could have fit two people. Man, that would feel so good. Actually, Alicia had a tub like this, kind of. Close the window. You closed the window. Is that Bigfoot? <laughs> Did we is. find him? We found Bigfoot, people. We found Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot sighting. Right there, guys. My quest is over. Like and subscribe for that. Bigfoot gets a like. If we can get a thousand subscribers, we will go to Washington State. Actually. We will spend a week in the forest looking for Bigfoot. I, I will say that again. If we get 1,000 subscribers, Garrett and I will go to Washington State and look for Bigfoot. We will spend a week camping in Washington State, and we will find Bigfoot just for you. He's, I don't know where he's getting this from, because we didn't discuss this. Honestly, one of the things I've also been thinking about do, uh, doing for, like, if we, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, the Conjuring House. Oh. It's in Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah. And we can have some of our special guests come with us. Now, I actually researched it. And you can overnight rent it for creators. Oh, okay. But it's twelve hundred dollars. But you get the whole place. But you get the whole place until like uh, eight a.m. That's not. So you go bad. there. They give you a house tour like at seven forty-five, mm -hmm. and then like eight thirty, the house is yours. Nice. You know, you can do whatever you want. You know, and stuff like that. Um, it's all yours all day, all day, and it's the Conjuring House, guys. So I think it would be worth it. And if you split it with some other people, yeah. you get more three or four people, yeah. special guest. Yeah. So like, subscribe, special share if you sacrifices. haven't shared. Yep. Word of mouth. Get us out there so we can get this taken care of for you guys because we're just as excited to bring it to you as much as you are to watch. And guys, we promise we are never going to create fake content. Content. We're not going to create experiences. We're not going to fake it just so you'll watch. We will never do that. Absolutely. I just opened the door to Narnia. <laughs> Holy God. Could you imagine? How many clothes do you have? They had a... They had, before landscaping went to shit, this must have been very beautiful too. I'm surprised you don't have like a fountain or something. They probably did. Look at There's actually still some hangers with some plastic here too. Maybe these are, I don't know, these like, pull, well, those aren't pull out, really? How could that not be pull out? I don't know how you make Does this. Your, uh, oh, they are. You just gotta really, they're not on, um, they're not on rails. So you just gotta really pull hard. I'm not sure if this is a bedroom. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything. No, in terms of paranormal guys so far, we haven't felt anything. We thought we heard something downstairs while we were downstairs, to be correct. I'm actually being the just Oh, look at this crawl space. Oh, man, it's exactly what it is, a crawl space. There's some stairs that come up. There's stairs? Well, there's a bottom of the stairs, so yeah, in the other room, there must be some stairs that go up. Oh, yeah. Where the hell does this go? This 
must be where all the bedrooms were. Uh, definitely the master bedroom. Another crawl space for each vac. A vac. Ooh, nice push broom. Alright, guys. Wow. There's the main stairwell, guys, which we neglected to come up. But there is a beautiful circular stairwell. Look at this. guys I think there was something like 800 acres it sold for just under nine hundred thousand dollars and it's got like five or six buildings they're all huge the first piece of furniture here in unbelievable that's still inside the house this means a lot of people just kind of threw it out by out I mean outdoors and here's another is this the attic you're in no there actually was a true attic but it could be storage I think this is maybe vent, uh the uh the heat heat ducts uh, this is the first when we oh first is that is that the same spot yeah wow and that's hard to be down there too there's a dresser down here there's actually dude, a, there's a closet dude in here. is what it panties the, yes it's either panties or a bra that's panties you think they're that? like victoria's secrets they are yeah victoria's they Secret. are victoria's secrets why would you know that holy fuck dude Got to buy your girl some good shit, man. Come on. <laughs> Why don't you want to step down? It should be all right. Ooh, there's a drill bit set down here, dude. Yeah. That's oh, empty. I thought that was a mouse trap. No. No. That is not a trill set, Glenn. That is a mouse bait trap, like I thought. It is? Yes. Uh, you just picked up. It even says, do not touch. Because it's poison. Gloves, huh? Look at that wooden step. Yeah, and you take off your gloves by biting them with your fingers. <laughs> So we just finished the whole house. We are now gonna go down to the basement. This is really the only thing um, that we've been finding where we were told that it could be haunted. We haven't gotten any vibe or feelings, right? No. So usually you kind of get that eerie feeling, almost like you're being watched or you know, there's a heavy atmosphere. Yeah. So far not feeling it, but we're gonna go down to the basement because supposedly that's where the magic happens, so. We'll find out. We'll find out. Let's go. All right, um, yeah, that's pretty dark. Resident Evil stairs. Oh, this is big. Okay, yeah, I kind of get a little bit of an eerie feeling. It's just a little bit of uncomfort, you know, like, you know what's gonna jump out at you. Wow, that just creaked right above my head. <laughs> the whole damn thing, it's like a creak. Oh my God, this place is huge. I don't think so. I already flipped a few switches. Why? 
Whoa, what you got going on here? Maybe this guy's responsible. Spider. I don't know, but it's- Get it's, your gimbal away from it. It's a, uh, I already did that. Can you not stop? Oh, it could be the Bluetooth. It could be it's your the, cellular. You have to put your phone in airplane Cellular and Bluetooth. Uh, the Bluetooth communication between that too. See mm -hmm. guys, it's like things like this, you know, that's what we mean by we're not going to fake things. Right. Like you got to put your phones in airplane mode. You, you have to compensate for electronic equipment because that will make an impact on yeah, these things. Yeah, doesn't do that. When I have Bluetooth on and everything. Yours is definitely causing a reaction. Huh. I wonder if it's the magnet. Oh, it's the magnet. magnet yeah. Yep. All right. My gimbal, guys, I'm actually using a new gimbal. Although, it really is pulsing hard for right now. Back up a little bit. Yeah. It, it stopped when I back up. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh. No, it does. Yeah. yeah. So you using a K2, no good. Yeah, I have a new gimbal, guys, and it has a magnet mount Let me on just it. test something. So, here you can see nothing. Get away from your light. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely causing a pulse. Well, at least we know yeah. it works. Yeah. So nothing much over there, guys. Definitely wants more heavier air here to breathe, that's for sure. Where did you feel that? In here? Over here. Well, as soon as I saw this area right down here. Nice. But um, I'm not going to go down there specifically just yet. So guys, this may be where we're going to set up shop to do a spirit box session. Oh, this is a fireplace. <laughs> Oh, dude, now I'm getting hungry. Now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> what is this, a sauna? Oh, looks like it was. These benches sure make it feel like it was a sauna or something like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude! Put it down. Just put it down. What's going on right here? Put it down. Let's walk out. I'm not trusting it right now. Let me turn off my light. Okay, it's pitch black now, guys. It is still chirping. I see that too. I'm zoom in as much as I can. It, it's, it's going high. It's going up to. It, we had a red spike get, on here. Get out of the room. I want to be able to see it. I can't see where the fuck I'm going now. Is it doing its double? No, it's not. Let's let me re-enter the room and see what happens. Why well, kicked it that time? Sorry. What's that? See, now it's not doing it. I actually kicked the thing. Oh. You know what? I think this is a good spot for a cat ball. In a room. Yeah. Actually, put, bring out your round REM pod. All right, we're going to take out the round, round REM pod, guys. guys. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it's what legit. I think it's legit. It's still going, and it's different. We don't know what this room is right now, guys. Um, it, it's almost like a sauna. Uh, it's hard to say, but uh, it's just an enclosure. And we're getting... We're getting uh, EMF uh, yeah. spikes. I'm gonna move over here. And it's not my phone, guys. I'm actually, I zoomed in on it. I'm out of this room. Specifically so there's no interference from my gimbal. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a, um, a REM pod. And the cat ball. And the cat ball's on here. And then see if we can get any interaction with that here. I think we're gonna set up camp over here. Well, not by camp, I mean set we're up our set paranormal up. station and yeah. then come back to this room and see what we can get. I think actually I, I want to do the spirit box in here now. Okay. Um, I think I think this is where we should focus our shit. Our, uh, Look, it's not doing shit. it now. This thing was going all the way to red, guys. And if you jostle this, see it does it does respond. I'm kicking the thing it's sitting on. So when people are carrying these things around, and you get the cheap ones. Mm. It's hard to credit that because of the fact that vibrations again. See how. Even with the more expensive ones, right? Yeah, they're, they're sensitive. Yeah, they're sensitive. Alright, so we're gonna set up. <sighs> if there's somebody with us right now, that device is letting us know you're here. 
touch it and the lights will go off. Can you make the lights go off? Dude, it jumped to fucking red. Did it really? Thank you for doing that. Can you do that again? Can you touch it again? <gasps> Dude, we're getting some heavy shit right now. Oh my god. Alright, here's the REM pod. Thank you. We're gonna get some more devices out. I'm gonna pull out a device. You actually might be able to talk to us. Alright. Uh, before we get too situated, we're gonna turn off the lights. We're gonna set the night vision camera too. Dude, that... Whoa! That is insane! Whoa! Whoa! The REM pod's not on! That's crazy, Glenn. Okay. <gasps> you gotta be shitting me. Guys, that's two devices. How many are recording this? I am. I'm recording all I keep getting that network error. That doesn't matter. That just means you're losing, um, it, it, it's still... Recording. And they both stopped. Okay, so, I just want to introduce ourselves. I'm Garrett. This is Glenn. We just want to specify we are not here to. What is that? See. Oh. We are just here to basically see if anybody is with us. And we just put down two devices which you've already seen to be communicating with. We're getting nothing now. But if there is. Okay. Okay. I just want to let you know you guys have permission to interact with us. But you do not have permission to come home with us. Yes. No okay. attachment, guys. We're just here to talk. Like I said, like, if you are here, this round device is going to make noise. Can you touch that device to show us that you're here? Can you touch the round one to make it make a noise? Just an enclosed room with one entry point. Are you sure you have a good shot of those? Yeah. Don't tell me that battery stick because that was a full battery. This, is, this isn't even turning on. Alright guys, a lot of weird things are going on here. My spirit I can't get... Um, my, my camera just went dead and it was a full battery. I just charged this thing. My spirit box won't even turn on and these are brand new batteries in here as well. So we're having a lot of battery drain on. Alright, let's see what this says. It says full battery. Why would that have gone off? What type? Um, triple A. I'll have to check. I haven't seen I thought I had one. Alright. Alright. Guys, sorry. We have no spirit box? No spirit box. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me try it. Took the batteries out. Let me turn it back in. How is this dying so fast? It's gotta be the cold. Like, this usually lasts a lot longer to light. Well, dude, we could be having battery drain right now. We could. I think you might have moved this shit out of my frame when you re it. I think. Keeps picking up uh, your phone's LiDAR or something. My phone doesn't have one. Something's flashing on it. In infrared. Wow, look at that thing. Turn off. 
block your light. See if that that's not right. I'm not flashing from your phone. No, look at the key too, dude. Look at the key too. Yeah, I see it. Put your put your hand in front of the what the, the IR light. Your IR light. It's not aimed at it. Then what the fuck is doing that? What do you think? No. The REM pod maybe? Can you can REM pod off? That is steady. What the fuck is doing that? That's steady. That's holding. It is. Should I move it? It's so cold, we don't even know if there's temperature spikes or anything. <laughs> My God. Yeah, I would move it, dude. It might be sitting on something. Let's turn it off and back on. It went right back to the same thing. Move it, move it off of that. Maybe there's like a nail or something that's rusting under it. Just to let you know, guys, too, that can happen. Um, you can get a false um, EMF reading from rusty nails. All right. So, guys, we are now in the basement. And what we assume might be a... Um, what did I say this was? A sauna. A sauna, yeah, because there's these benches down here that we're sitting on. It's pitch black down here now. <laughs> Only be getting hits in the K2 and the REM pod. So we're gonna try to interact and see if we can get responses. But maybe there is something, some truth to this place being haunted. Okay. Whoever's been trying to communicate with us, are you still with us? Please touch one of our devices. Oh, this is, wow. It is a little frustrating, but it is a good, good evidence of how... Sometimes things don't go your way. Not even that, it's just, this is usually how it happens. The, the activity will spike up, it will be huge. And then all of a sudden, it just disappears. Now, there is a possibility, guys, that whatever was in this room has already left it and possibly <laughs> gone over there. There's a good possibility of that. That's true. So... Um, we, uh, we might leave this little room. Y you know what? Shine out there. All right, guys, we're going to change this up a bit. You know, I did hear something over here. Whoa, Spike, Spike, Spike. Do you did you not touch want it? us to leave? I didn't touch it yet. I didn't touch it either. That's a huge spike. Are you back? Can you touch the other device for us? If you want us to stay, can you put your energy into the other device next to that one? Really is. I've never seen it. So the only time I've seen it that high is when I'm next to my router. That's the only thing. But I don't, I don't like the rhythm it's doing because it's a, it's a. It, oh, it just. Thank you. Can you can you touch it some more? It literally transferred from one device to another, guys. Maybe I should turn my light back up. I'll turn mine on. See what happens. <laughs> All right. You are free to use the energy from my headlamp in order to power one of these other devices to let us know that you are here. You know, touch the round device. Put all your energy in the round device. We want, we want some noise. Come we on. can give you a demonstration. It's too quiet. You want to give them a demonstration, show them what it does? Yeah. All right, see, the closer you get to it, the louder it'll get. Well, spike on this side, but that was when you touched that too. Come on, come over here. Touch this. Touch that. If you were doing it earlier. Wow, now, this is a big spike. If you touch that, touch it so we know that you can use it. And then we can make it so it'll play music for you. Thank you. Here we go. Change it. I don't know how to change it. Uh, <laughs> press both the little buttons. With it on? Yep. Okay. Just click them in. 
Now if you touch it, keep the light on, keep the light on. Can you touch that round device now? If you touch it and hold it like you were doing before, it'll play music. What? <laughs> what? You are kidding. Thank you. Keep holding it. Hold it tighter. If you hold it tighter, it'll play more music. Take the power from the light in order to touch that device. Oh, God. Wow. Can you touch it for longer? Can you try to get two lights? One thing at a time. <laughs> oh my god, it's longer. Oh my god. Do you know what the funny thing is? Oh, oh, thank you. You're amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you. Okay, can you like look at this stopped. The K2 stopped. I know, but why isn't it playing music? He's not holding it. I have not enough power and energy. But you know what? Here's the thing. In Captain Grant, mm -hmm. it would be beep. Right. Beep. See? Oh, you wanted to hold my hand? <laughs> I literally, literally, literally. If you touch it from the... Oh, keep touching it. Keep touching it. Keep putting power into it. Try to change the pitch. Come on, you can do it. Dude, this is fucking insane. What's that? What? I swear I heard something up the stairs. Okay, stop. Can you stop for me? Thank you. Wow. I must say, you are very attractive. Thank you very much. <laughs> is that your welcome? Okay. <laughs> are you making... Okay. Are you making noises out there? If you are, can you make the other device light up? Okay. Do you know who's making voice, uh, noise out there? Can you make that device light up? something to this guy's. <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you stop? Please stop. Thank you. Can you, instead of using that now, I'm sorry to make you go back and forth, but just so we know that we're interacting with somebody, can you go to this device like you were before, making it light up to red or orange? We just want to make sure it's not device malfunctioning. Correct, or interference. We don't want to give anybody a reason to say this was faked. Can you make that silent device light up all those lights to red? Just touch it. I really wish we had some cat balls. Keep going. I'm going to look for the cat balls. Yeah. This is so good. So guys, we have, um, we have two cat balls that I gave Glenn that he seems to have misplaced. Did you put them in the pockets? No, no. I put them in my bag. And I, I put the K2 in my pocket. And we want to put the cat balls in the hallway just in case we get any interaction over there. All right, guys. So we're setting up some and cat balls out here. As you can see. As you can see. We'll have the cat ball here. These devices you have to physically touch in order to set off. We have one there. We have a pocket room pot and another cat ball here. I like the red. I like the red. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Do you want us to switch it back to music? Do you like the music better than the... 
If you want us to switch it back to music, stop touching the other device. Right now. And it keeps chirping. It never chirps like that before. No, there's. It's not a. Cons, it's not a consistent like pattern either. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say reset the REM pod, power it off. Actually, hand me the REM pod. I'm going to check the antenna connection, make sure there's nothing loose. Okay. We're just checking things, guys, because you never freaking know. And the battery's possibly low. All right, here. Sw put it down. Switch it on. Okay. Oops. Oh, zoomed in. Now. Can you touch the REM pod again, please? Make it make some noise. Are you trying to touch anything out there? Did you hear anything Do you smell like a pungy fire smell? Yeah, I've been smelling that all over though. Okay. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Shit, because it's getting dark. Yeah. We're gonna have to be wrapping this up soon. Yeah, guys, we got maybe 15 minutes we're gonna give you. So if something's here that wants to communicate, we give you multiple devices to use. We've got this K2 device that makes lights. We've got the REM pod, which will make multiple lights and sounds. There is a device above the fireplace that'll make sounds and lights. And there are two balls out there that if you touch them, they will light up and let us know that you wanna communicate. So now is your opportunity. Is there anybody here that still wants to communicate with us? Please touch any of these devices. It's weird. Oh, no, there's a K2. We know that you like that K2, but we'd really like you to go to a different device. Down in like five minutes, guys. Cause we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pack up. We gotta get, we gotta out, of get here. out of here. Gotta go eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. Come on, touch it. Sorry, you got me excited. Touch it. Last chance to make yourself known. We appreciate you using the K2, but we need, we need more. We need you to use one of the other devices. We're giving you multiple devices. In order for us to know we're actually interacting with something and that that's not malfunctioning, I need you to go to one of these devices. Anything over that direction. I don't know, man. But we were, it was so spot on before, dude. It was, it was answer, it was... It was interacting. It was interacting. This seems more like a static ping. Yeah. Almost like there's interference. But from where? Well, there are nails to the left it? of it, but I mean... But we didn't move that. We no. haven't moved that. No, it comes, it does come and go. And it wouldn't fluctuate. It, it would be like that. If it was an interference from a, a nail, it would be mm -hmm. solid. Well, that is four o'clock. We'll give you one more minute and then we have to say goodbye. We are wrapping All things up in the basement up. right now. You can Can't hear you Glenn that? in the background. He's still trying to get Come some on. final interactions because the K2 has been still spiking like crazy. And the it's hard to discredit. It has interacted with Make us before, but once. now it's refusing to use any of the other there. devices that we have, such as the two cat balls, the other REM pod, the main REM pod. Just the K2 is being triggered. And it's getting late. In fact, we're losing daylight. We're in pitch yeah. darkness down here, yeah. so it is time to say goodbye. Dude, this, this was awesome. Huh? I'm like psyched right now. What? This, this was like, I think, the best interaction we've had. I don't know about the best interaction, but it's definitely well, it's nice. The most accurate, I think. Wait till we view the video, dude. The way we were saying, touch this, touch it for longer. Go from this device to, it was doing it. That's true, that's true. It was doing it. I think this was the best interaction we've had. I don't think that beats Mary. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do have a point. Mary was like really spot on with answering things and 
That was mind boggling. She really interacted with us on that REM pod. And that's really the only time that REM pod has ever really interacted. You know what? This could have been a kiln. Hey guys. So that was the abandoned mansion. It is 4.15 and it gets dark fast this time of year. And we just finished our EVP session downstairs and coming back You heard back us up. right. That was an EVP session. We did not again come into this expecting anything. Took out my spirit box. It was dead. Batteries were dead. Yeah. Took, turned on the K2 and that thing went nuts as soon as I turned it on. And we were in the basement, mind you. There's no active wires or electricity going on. We pulled our gimbals back, anything magnetic. And, my uh, gimbal did yeah. interfere with the K2 a little bit, but we did have it at a distance where it wasn't affecting it, and the K2 was still going nuts. Did you hear that? Sound like a dog barking. Yeah. We're starting to hear a lot of shit going on right now. We had amazing interaction in what we thought is either a kiln or a uh, sauna, but I right now am feeling an I keep immense amount of dread right now. Yeah, I'm getting and weirded out. We're starting to hear a lot of shit, so we're getting the fuck out of here. We're done. We're not going to hit up the other Peace. buildings. We're, we're, we're getting out of here because we're hearing noises and we really feel... Whatever was interacting with us was very nice. What is that? Very playful, but right now we're getting the fuck out of here. All right, guys. Remember, Peace. like and subscribe. Hit that bell and uh, ready, ready for now. We're out of here. If we're still alive. <laughs> we're out of here. Peace. Three. You want to do that? <laughs> three, like, three, two, two. one. <laughs> All right. Two, one. What are we doing? Welcome. You know what? Let's do this. Three, two, one. Jump as high as you can. Just have it like cut where you just land like out of nowhere, like Mario Brothers. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's actually right. awesome. <laughs> What's up, guys? Let's do it again. Let's <laughs> keep doing it. All right. <laughs> now I choked. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. And now we gotta jump again. Can you jump higher? Dude! <laughs> Welcome back to another GG. <laughs> Beep! One, two, three. Welcome up, back to GG. We are here. <laughs> and uh, fucking this up. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Okay. Okay. Okay, we gotta get this. I mean, You'll just say, welcome back to GMG. I forgot the name of it now. Um, oh fuck, Barstow? Oh, oh god. God. Higabottom? Wait, wait, wait. One. Welcome back to <laughs> another GNG expedition. Exploration. Is it really that hard? <laughs> or Urbex expedition, if you want. Or Urbex, or a, another episode of GNG. I like that. Let's get it, guys. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> <boom>. <laughs> you you run, me. I jump. All right, All right guys. guys, let's get it done. Let's do it at the same time. All right, All right three, two, one. All, All right, right, guys, guys let's get, get it, it done. done. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so stupid. <laughs> it's going to be our best video yet. <laughs>